Here's an example of how the REST data frame library pullers could be used in a realistic project. First up, we have the REST project ecosystem, which includes the cargo package management system, which would install pullers and any other libraries, for example, CLAP or Criterion, if you need to do benchmarking. Once you've got all this set up, the next step would be to add some integration tests, add some unit tests, add your benchmarks, put it all together so that you're able to verify the performance, the business logic, as well as the contract for, let's say, the binary tool that you're delivering. So that's kind of the high level overview, but let's go ahead and look at pullers real quick and see at some of the things that you could do. So first up, in terms of the API here, you can see it's very straightforward. Uh, in a function, you would build out, let's say, you know, importing a CSV file, processing it, doing some group by operations. Uh, and in terms of the performance, you can see that uh, really pullers is as fast as it gets. There isn't a, a data frame library that's faster than pullers. And you can see here that in the case of, um, you know, pullers here, it's so, so fast that it's almost, you can't see the, the, the performance it has in doing things like reading, let's say a parquet file. So let's go ahead and dive into the code here next. So if we go into our project, we see there's a pullers Python Rust project. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, cargo file here first. So I used the pullers library. Next up, inside of the source directory here, I have a data file, and this is just the iris data set. In terms of the main file here, uh, what this is going to do, it's going to do some filtering. So it's going to say uh, the rows where the column sepal length is greater than five. It's also going to do some grouping. So it's going to look at the data from the species column. It's also going to do some aggregation uh, and it's going to calculate the sum of other columns. And so in a nutshell, we're going to get some you know, kind of basic operations that you would typically do with data frames. Now, first up, what do we do? We import the necessary modules from the Polar's crate. Now we build a main function. So in Rust, if you want to build a very simple project, you just need a main function. And that's what we're going to do here. So I import the iris.csv file. Uh, I then go through and I do my filter operation. Then I do my group by operation. And then I aggregate the results by summing the specific columns for each group. So the sepal length, the sepal width, the petal length, the petal width. Finally, once I've got all those done, then I trigger the computation and collect the results into the data frame. Finally, we go through here and we print it out. So pretty straightforward project uh, that kind of kicks the tires on what you can actually do. I actually like to use a makefile here. And in this particular makefile, you know, if I wanted to build things, run them, test them, etc., this is where I would actually trigger things. All right, so all I need to do now is do cargo run. So let's go ahead and go into this project structure here. Perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in the cargo run command. All right, here we go. We're able to actually put this into a three by five shape. And you can see here that this uh, column is a string. So this shows the Setosa Virginica Versicolor, we have the sepal length, the sepal width, the petal length, the petal width, and it's all pulled into a nice compact structure like we were trying to do when we aggregated everything together. And those groups give us the results of our query. So in a nutshell, the REST-based pullers library is a great high-performance library that allows you to do things in a very fast manner. And if we run it again, you can see it's just lightning fast in order to do this query.